In this video, we derive the Dirac equation starting from a Lagrangian. Let's write down the Lagrangian. Lagrangian D stands for Dirac is equal to psi bar, where psi bar is defined as psi dagger, the complex conjugate transpose of psi, gamma naught, and then here we have I, gamma mu. These gamma mu's here are the Dirac matrices, del mu minus m psi. And I'm assuming that h bar is equal to 1, as well as the speed of light c. So we are using a, a unit system such that h bar and c are both equal to 1. Now we can write down Lagrange equations. So we have del mu dld with respect to the derivative of the field psi and then we have minus d ld with respect to psi equal to zero you can also write it like this and now we have to calculate these derivatives d ld with respect to psi is equal to minus m psi bar it's easy to see we are assuming that psi bar and psi are independent so when we take the derivative with respect to psi what we get is a minus m psi bar because uh, this term here will contribute nothing to this derivative because we have the derivative of with respect to mu of psi so the derivative of that is zero if we we are taking the derivative only with respect to psi now we have to calculate the derivative of LD with respect to D mu psi. And in this case, we have to take the derivative of this term applied to psi. So what we get is basically psi bar I gamma mu. So we can write down Lagrange equations like this. Del mu, and here we have psi bar i gamma mu plus m psi bar equal to zero. Now we are going to take the dagger of this equation, so the complex conjugate transpose, which means that we have to take the dagger of this plus m, and then we have to take the dagger of this, but remember the definition of psi bar, which is this one. So when we take the dagger, we get the dagger of psi dagger gamma zero dagger, which is gamma zero dagger psi. But gamma zero dagger is just gamma zero. So we have m gamma zero psi. Remember the property of Dirac matrices, gamma mu dagger can be written as gamma zero, gamma mu, gamma zero. So if I choose mu equal to zero, I get gamma zero cubed which is gamma zero squared times gamma zero, but gamma zero squared is just the identity. So gamma zero dagger is equal to gamma zero, and this is equal to zero, but at this point we need to calculate the dagger of this. So the dagger of this expression is just gamma mu dagger, and then we have I del mu dagger, and then we have the dagger of psi bar. So here we have gamma zero psi we have just calculated it here so when we take the transpose we have to change the order between gamma mu and gamma zero so gamma zero is hidden here in this expression so we have gamma zero and gamma mu in this case we have gamma mu and then gamma zero and this is due to the fact that uh, when we take the dagger we also have to consider that we have to transpose the expression so this is how we can write it. Then gamma mu dagger can be written as gamma zero, gamma mu, gamma zero. Now we can multiply gamma zero and gamma zero here. So we have gamma zero squared, but this will give us the identity. So we are left with uh, gamma zero applied to gamma mu, I del mu dagger. Then we have psi plus m psi equal to zero. And now, of course, we can uh, simply set this expression equal to zero. It's quite obvious, 
Therefore, we can write gamma mu, and now we have the dagger of this, so we have to take the complex conjugate transpose of i del mu, which is minus i del mu. So we can put minus i, here we have del mu, then we have plus m, and this acts on psi, and it is equal to zero, which is none other than Dirac equation. There is another way to derive it more quickly, and in particular, if we consider the Lagrange equation written with respect to psi bar instead of psi, del mu d l d d d mu psi bar minus d l d d psi bar. We can also consider this expression because psi and psi bar are considered to be independent fields when we derive the fundamental equations, which are the Lagrange equations. In particular, if you simply check the Lagrangian here, this derivative will give zero contribution because the Lagrangian does not depend on the derivative of psi bar. We only have this term, and if you take the derivative of this, with respect to psi bar, you will simply get i gamma mu del mu minus m psi equal to zero, which is exactly the same equation that we derived in here. 